Welcome to the NEO Operational Video Series for Software Version 3.8. These videos are designed for targeted instruction to get you up to speed quickly and simply. This video targets Moving Light Patch. So from our live screen, if we want to patch a moving light, we need to go in the patch. And then we need to know uh, what type of fixture we're going to patch, what channel we're going to use, and the DMX addressing. So we'll probably would have started in the available fixture list uh, up at the top. So what we're going to do is scroll down until we find Philips Verilite. I'm going to open that. And we're going to patch some VL1100s. We're going to do the TSD Tungsten Shutter Dimmer uh, ERS, which stands for Lope Sort of Reflector Spotlight. And that assigns it to the Philips, uh, to the fixture make and model box. And we're going to put these, I'm going to go down to 101 to see what I've got. And we've got a bunch of LEDs in the 100s, so we're going to put these in the 200s. So we're going to start with patching a single fixture. Also, the LEDs are in the second universe, so uh, we're just going to put the moving lights in the third universe. I can check to see what I've got by going to my tabs on my DMAX output side, and we can see that the third universe is open. So we're going to say 201 at 3.1 enter, and we have the option of creating auto palettes for this fixture. Uh, you can say yes if you want generic palettes created for the uh, color wheels and gobo wheels. I'm personally going to say no, but again, it's, it, it, that's just personal preference. So we can see we've got a single fixture patch that's in 201. Here's a bar which shows that it takes up 27 parameters and what the parameters are. Uh, the asterisk parameters of the 16-bit version um, when you have a 8-bit channel and a 16-bit channel for the low and the high. So that's one fixture patch. Now we're going to look at unpatching this fixture. So I'm going to say 201 at enter. Again, the old light palette command of at enter to get rid of. So that has cleared this out. Now we're going to look at range patching, which allow us to patch multiple fixtures in the multiple channels all at the same time. So we're going to patch five of them. I'll say 201 through 205 at with a starting address of 3.1 and we patch them up, up again we'll get the option for creating all the pallets unless we check the box to say that don't and I'll say no again and we can see we now patch five of them each bar will uh, bar will show us the addresses needed for one fixture so we've got uh, the first one in channel 201 starts at 1, next one starts at 28 for channel 202, 55, 203 so on and so forth this is all great and now we can unpatch these as well just to see how to unpatch a range. So 201 through 205 at enter and that clears that out. The last thing I want to show you when patching up a moving light is range patching but with an offset. Now why would you want some sort of an offset? A lot of times in a fixture like this which takes up 27 addresses it's hard for to manage the numbers so it's hard for people to remember you know that this would be one then the next one would be 28 then 55 so a lot of people like to sort of round it up to the nearest tens digit so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and patch up five of these 201 through 205 at 3.1 and now we're going to hit plus twice and that's the magic so that brings up offset since this uses 27 addresses, we're going to round this up to 30. And again, I'll say no about the pallets. And we can see here that this starts with address 3.1, 3.31, 61, 91, 121. So it's a little easier to, to manage that way. Now you can also manage this by just changing in here. What if I didn't want 3.21? I wanted uh, 3.151. So you can just go in and change that information uh, here pretty easily. We can see the addressing here. I can scroll up and down. In addition to that, for each fixture you have a pan tilt adjust column and this will allow you to flip pan, flip tilt, flip pan and tilt. You can see the different swap versions that you have. Uh, this will help you orient, orient the fixture based upon your encoder rotational preferences. So that's pretty much it. So we will, 
I'm going to put this back to 3.121 and we're going to go live and it'll ask us if we want to save. I'll hit enter and now we can see we have five moving lights that are patched. Thanks for watching this Neo operational video for software version 3.8. Go to the Philip Strand website at www.strandlighting.com for many more videos on Neo programming and operations.